a little known fact, but I wanted Han Solo to die at the end of Star Wars Episode Four. I thought it would give more weight and resonance, but George Lucas wasn't sympathetic. He didn't want me killed by those teddy bear guys. I'll make you a deal. I'll try to keep making films that pe put people in your theater seats, and you try to keep those shoes from sticking to the floor. I used to shake my head as in, no, I just look like him, but that's not fair. So I said to those little old ladies at Turin Airport, yes, I am Harrison Ford, and they still didn't believe it was me. I don't do stunts. I do running, jumping, and falling down. After 25 years, I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't think I've mastered anything. I'm still wrestling with the same frustrations, the same issues, the same problems as I always did. That's what life is like. You know when you're getting old, when all the names in your black book have MD, Mother Dearest, after them. I think I did have a reputation of being grumpy. I don't think I'm grumpy. I have opinions. I'm an independent vision. The loss of anonymity is something that no one can prepare you for. When it happened, I recognized that I'd lost what I'm most valuable from things in my life. To this day, I'm not that happy about it. Starring in science fiction films doesn't mean you have to act like science fiction. I think the force is in you. Force yourself. I think George likes people. I think George is a kind, warm-hearted person, but he can be a little impatient with the nature of acting. The need to work till you can find something. He's like, it's right there, right there. I wrote it, it's there, just do it. But you can't just do it that easily.